I'll just come back to something you just said. Uh, you said focus on the power of now. What does that yeah. mean to you? Yeah, I read the book. You know, when you uh, listen to a podcast and many coaches, they uh, they suggest some books and they read the book, The Power of Now, and it's the magic of, you know, sometimes we even even talking to the people, we uh, we start talking to the people like with the, the past experience or uh, thinking about what will come out with this discussion, but the real it's now and how we can think about now. I feel really bad because they had bad performance yesterday so let's forget yesterday and work now like how what they can do now i didn't swim for um, 12 weeks okay this is fine but today i'm swimming so what they can do with now so just be present not thinking about because i had the same issue when i read the book i i understand things that when i when i used to swim you know i go to the meet i was the guy to see oh, i am not really ready to this meet but I promised myself Monday I will start training and they will start better training and they will be ready for the next one. But I'm not living the moment. I'm not really present at that moment to try to do wherever my best, 100%. And we don't care about the outcome. We care about the process. And, you know, that power of now, I think it's, it's really, really something, uh, you know, if the athlete and the coaches and anyone can use it, the power of now, it's... It's 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 good. It's something help us to to be present and to be effective on what we are doing right now and don't think about the past or the future. Great words. And I'm definitely gonna check out that book and put the, the name of the book in the show notes as well. Um and sort of final question. Um so with everything that you've done, like you you talked about the silver lining that you found with COVID in terms of, you know, being able to connect in different ways, more meaningful ways at the time and the ability to reflect upon what you do and how you do it and stuff like that. What have you taken from this last year and a half that you are going to incorporate going forward and will become part of your program? Yeah. So I, I would say first thing for myself, I hope you will keep doing the podcast because <laughs> it's amazing, Jason and okay. all other podcasts. Like I try to listen, maybe two or three every single day. It's amazing. It's amazing how the information is coming really, really fast. Uh, for the club, I would say the relationship with, with, uh, with, the, with the athlete and the coaches and spend that time to talk as human and not only uh, about swimming, you know, and spend the time to, to talk with, 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 with them because I think uh, we care, but we were not doing a good job before that time. Mm. Not really asking the question and and having just a discussion because I I like when I when I visit Georgia and with the Jack Crowley with his team in the Georgia University, like he he know every single one like fifty eight uh, fifty eight athletes and he know them and I was like how he can do that. Like it's impossible to know exactly one guy had uh, their parent visit, another he had uh, 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 an exam, the other one he had uh, this thing going on in his life. Like he was aware of everything. And I was like, I didn't understand how he did it. But when we start the lockdown and we had, you know, a Zoom meeting and talks, I felt that I am more... Um, part of their life and I understand more what they are doing and it's something I really really need to keep that uh, connection with the people it's really really important